Welcome to another show of Russ on Flowers. I'm your host, Russ. We're back at Joliet Junior College with Professor T. We're going to be doing some more bouquet work today, and we're doing... We're going to be doing a hand-tied bouquet that's created in an Oasis wire armature. And it's really simple, and actually it, it makes it easier to make a hand-tied. I love this stuff. This Oasis wire is 12-gauge wide, and it's very malleable. It comes in a whole boatload of colors. But we're going to be doing something creative and fun today with this. I'm going to take and cut a piece that's about, what would you say, about two feet? Two feet. Two feet. And then I'm going to make a bow out of this. And it's just like making a bow with anything else. We're not going to worry about the fact that it's kind of wrinkled. <laughs> yeah, yeah, stand back, pal. Um, we're not going to worry about the wrinkles in the ribbon because or in the wire because it's going to come right out. And I'm going to, I think I'll stop at like five. Uh, let's do six. Six, so six on loops. each side. Six loops on each okay. side. And then I'm going to make some longer loops, some loops that are going to actually be cut in half and wind up being coily, cute little things that are going to go in the, in the bouquet. So I'm going to make one, two, three, four bigger size loops. Eh, let's do five. We're going to do five. We're going to cut off our remaining piece of Oasis. It takes almost a full roll of Oasis wire to do this. And then I'm going to take that piece that I had earlier, that I had removed earlier, and I'm pretending like it's a bow. I'm just going to twist this really tight. So now that Russ has clamped this on here nice and tight for me, we're just going to pretend like it's a bow. And I'm keeping my thumb clamped over where, we, where Russ made that nice tight connection, and I'm going to lift these pieces up. They kind of look almost like um, a lotus pod like a lotus flower. We're gonna lift those up and then I'm going to cut these at random lengths. I don't want them all to be even. I want some to be longer, some to be shorter. You gonna straighten those out then? Nope. Nope, we're gonna curly cue these guys. These are gonna be a lot of fun before we put any flowers in this. And Rush, you're going to help me with this. This, you're gonna hold that for me. And then we're going to take the ends of this and we're going to use our needle nose pliers to get a nice tight start and then we're going to coil these up. And some of our coil ends are going to remain at the bottom of our bouquet and some of our coiled ends are going to go up with the flowers adding kind of a cute, fun, playful dimension to our bouquet. Again, I use the needle nose to coil it tightly in the center and then I just simply wrap them up. Okay, so now we've coiled our ends, and what we're going to do is we're going to start just stabbing in our dendrobium orchids, but I wanted to show you what I did. I want to reserve some of these florets that are down at the base, so I've ripped some of those guys off and thrown them into a pile over here and created some long stems. I've also kept some of the, the dendrobiums on the bottom on some of the stems and then I came back through and I cut out the center tip like this is a perfect one to take out it's got a damaged end it's missing a floret it's not very showy so I can cut that out of there and use that as one of my slightly shorter stems that shows color and then it's just a hand tie then it's it's just way too much fun then we're going to take it's got long you have medium and then you have florets yes we're going to take this and we're going to just simply drop Hang, I don't have to worry about twisting or turning. All I'm doing is adding my materials, kind of coming around some of the petals that I've created because that's what holds them apart, and creating my little round hand-tied bouquet here. We've got our tall stems in, and now I can continue around with our, our shorter materials. And dendrobiums are perfect for hand-tieds because they last outside of water for a very long time. So even if you get busy dancing at your reception, and you forget to throw it back into a vase of water, there's not a problem. It will continue to look beautiful for the remainder of the evening. So we have 10 stems, correct? 10 stems, 10 stems. and I'm, sometimes I'll drop them through some of the, the, the bow-like material that we made with our right. armature here. Sometimes I'll just place them in between, coming up underneath the bottom, so that we're creating an overall round effect. I like this stem a lot. And from my angle, that makes it a real pretty round bouquet. Then I'm going to be taking my bow, which is nothing more than a series of streamers that I've attached to a wire. That's going to go right down into the center 
of my armature. And I'm just going to hang on to it where the wires, where I attach the wires for to hold the bow together. Thank you. I attach those right there. And we're, you'll see what we'll do with those in a minute. And then I'm going to take my some of my, my cute little curly cues that I have here, and I'm going to work those up into the bouquet because these are going to be little tiny platforms here for dendrobium orchids. So we want some that are going to remain down and some that are going to come back up into the bouquet. It makes it kind of playful. It makes it kind of fun. I might have to curly cue a couple more of these in. I do want some of these down for the handle. And then I'll turn this here so I can see what's happening on the back side. Maybe we'll put this little guy up into the bouquet. And then, Russ, if you could hand me some of my lily grass, that'd be great. Then we're going to add some lily grass. And this is, again, it doesn't matter where it goes as long as the ends of the lily grass are pointing out. It's, again, radial. I want these to point out, and we're going to add some fun little embellishments to it. I think I showed you before, but worth repeating, if you run your fingers on the back of it, it will soften that, soften the stiffness of the lily grass and make it a little bit more flowing and draping, and it lends itself a little bit better to this style of a bouquet. And I'm just jabbing. I'm just, you kind of wiggle around and feel where there's an opening. You want to turn it periodically so that you can see See, yeah, rotate around to make sure that you're balanced on all sides. I'm going to drop this guy down now through a through an actual petal of our wire wire armature. And I want these out. Need some up at the top. Use about a bunch of this. About a full bunch of lily grass. Ten stems. And sends a dendros, almost a full bunch of, uh, or a full roll of oasis wire, and about a bunch of lily grass. Oops, upside down. Again, we want those guys to arch out. And then we will add our finishing piece here. And what we're going to do then is take a piece. Uh, like a like a four inch piece of waterproof tape and at my binding point where all these flowers are coming together here I'm going to place my piece of waterproof tape to help hold the whole thing together 